Carlos from RealTeesFishing.com. Today we're gonna go ahead and service the poppet valve and I'm gonna show you a trick that's gonna make the job a little bit easier. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna cut a piece of wooden dowel to an exact size and basically since the poppet valve works on a spring that's under tension, uh, to get it back on when you're servicing it is kind of a pain uh, but with the, with the wooden dowel trick it's gonna make it a lot easier. So we're gonna show you how to uh, do that. First things first, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get a wooden dowel. This wooden dowel is, I'll tell you right now, 3 8 size. You don't need it this long, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and measure from the edge of the cowling here all the way to the block. So you're gonna get a rough estimate. That's our rough estimate right there. We're just gonna go ahead and cut that off like that. And we're gonna change the camera angle so you can get a better picture here. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and cut this, what you really wanna measure is, this is the poppet valve housing. We're gonna go ahead and insert that dowel right there. And as you see, it's a little long, which is okay. It's better longer than shorter. And then we're gonna go ahead and measure again, right at the cowling. We're gonna cut that and then this should slide in just like that under tension. And now what this is going to do, what this is going to do is when we take this housing off, when we take this housing off, it's under a lot of tension. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out. But when we need to put it back on, this area is really tight to work in. So what we do is we're gonna go ahead and push it back together and then we're gonna go ahead and put this wooden dowel in just like that. At this moment, it's not gonna have the bolts, but it's gonna hold it in place and allow us to go ahead and put the bolts back in, as you'll see in a moment. 